we're here with some more Lord of the Rings, and we've got this lovely Rohan table. And I'm actually, before we, I'm not going to break down in the middle of the game and talk about the train again. We're just going to get that out of the way. So actually, every single, including the mat, thing on this table was made by us, by our hands. Or a friend. Yeah. Some 3D printed barrels and fire, yeah. pit, you know, fire pits. Um, so our friend, you know, took care of these fire pits for us that we've painted and those no i take that back there's one thing on this table that was not made by us yeah, and that's those crates yep um those came are, with a sandbag yeah for another game. those are resident these probably look like the game's workshop um rohan buildings but fun story um my dad who again is unfortunately no longer with us or else i would have him go on for days about this project we have a whole rohan village that was made like this before gw actually um came out with their terrain and I don't know, it was a really special project that, that we did, and like I said, we had the whole village, and at some point, spoilers, we're going to try to do the uh, War in Rohan uh, campaign, yep. hopefully. So we'll have all that. Here's just a little taste of what that might look like. And then... Yeah, we're real appreciative of Terry. He uh, he left us too soon. He uh, I gave him some uh, you know schematics for the Rohan buildings, and he made all of these, and I was totally prepared to pay him. And I went over to his house, he was showing me... Um, what he had put together and I was like you just let me know what I need to pay you and he said don't worry about it he said you just help me buy the material so uh, Terry was a good one we lost him too soon and uh, we're going to miss him with our terrain and for other reasons obviously but I'll let John continue yeah anyway fences were made by him too um, actually earlier today we haven't had these that long I just Noon, something so yeah. simple <laughs> I cut up excited. I cut up a rug and that became wheat or Whatever kind whatever of the row here in our barley growing. whatever, and then this horses. road even you made this road it's just some cut yeah, up just canvas. Tarp, yeah, canvas yeah Matt's canvas so is it fancy nah but we made it all by hand yeah. it's cool and and I know a lot of people we get a lot of comments well we don't but people in general get a lot of comments about you know where'd you get that Matt where'd you get that terrain and the simple answer to this is we made it yep. and if you guys want us to at least on some of this stuff I mean we can't we can't replicate some of it, you know, because our architect is gone, but some of the stuff like the canvas things, we can show you guys how to do that. So if you yeah. want to know, just let us know in the comments. It's not a bother. Anyway, that's enough rambling about that. So what do we got today? Lord of the Rings scenario. We have, uh, out of the, uh, the one of the latest books, the match to play guide that came yep. out kind of before COVID smashed all of our gaming. Uh, we are playing scenario 13, Command the Battlefield. So, you know, it's, it's late. We're having a good time. And again, it's a, it's a real relaxed Thursday setting. The game is basically splitting the table into four sections We're evenly. Um, we're trying to command quarters of the battlefield. Um, sadly, the dead center of the table, which doesn't make sense because we screwed the road <laughs> there, that's considered barren, no, no, worthless land. Anything that's within 12 inches of the center of the table when the game's over doesn't count towards anything. Game's over when somebody's quartered. Uh, typical victory points. You score one victory point for um, each quarter of the board that you have more friendly models than your opponent. If you have double the amount, you score two. You score a victory point for wounding the uh, opposing army's warlord uh, leader. You score two if you kill him. You score a victory point if your enemy force is broken. You score two if your enemy is broken and you are not. Uh, other than that, we are doing a maelstrom of battle deployment. We roll off to see who goes first. And then you roll a dice, you roll a d6, and the d6 determines where you enter the battlefield from. So, you know, warbands may not enter the table from on the same side, and that will, that will really, that can influence uh, how we play the game. So it's, it's going to be really interesting. So we'll roll for that in a second, but uh, I guess we probably need to know who's fighting. So uh, what do you got? So I have uh, part of the, this, this, and I know I'm going to suffer from it, it's the uh, the new model syndrome. Uh, he's not seen the table yet. This is Helm Hammerhand. Uh, in my opinion, the third greatest king of Rohan. So can we just appreciate that paint job, though? So uh, he is going to be coming in with what looks to be 16 riders of Rohan, and they are WYSIWYG, captain that has the shield, heavy armor, and bow. And he's got three Rohan Royal Guard with uh, throwing spears. Okay, so we're going to head on over to my side of the table. And I came here wanting, well, not wanting, well, that's the wrong word. I came here expecting to play a 750-point game. And what I got 
was a 550 point game. And I told myself I wanted to put this big beast on the table, the great beast of Gorgoroth. That's one of my favorite models. I took him to the tournament with me when I went and just, I don't know, such a cool freaking model and I loved painting that thing. Um, but <laughs> as a sacrifice to my points, the list I brought didn't make much sense. The models I brought didn't make much sense. So I ended up with him as his own warband. Um, he, he comes as himself. One Easterling captain with a glaive and shield that's just going to be by himself because it was illegal for me to bring these guys without him. Um, one dragon knight, which I have actually... Um, I made him using the sprue of the normal cataphracts box instead of buying the resin model or the metal model. And I think he turned out pretty good. And I think he's pretty distinguishable on the battlefield. Um... So there's that guy, and then a banner, uh, or a regular cataphract, and a banner, and all these guys are black dragons, which gives them like an increase to their courage and, and fight value, I think. Uh, I'll check that. And Gothmog, the Lieutenant of Sauron, the original metal model, not the um, newer one that you see floating around. And then he's got four... Um, Moran and Orcs with shield and one-handed weapon, and it looks like we've got, I don't really use the weapon rules much, but an axe, a mace, and two swords, and then four Moran and Orcs with spear and shield. So, yeah. Before we get started, I have not seen anybody actually use Helm Hammer Hand. I'm sure they have, but maybe I'm the first and actually put it on film. Uh, I want to go over some of his rules, mainly to help myself remember them. So, you know, if if, I, if you see me screw up, please blast me in the comments. Um, he's got the Horn of Hammerhand, which counts as a, you know, regular war horn, which increases the, cur the courage of the entire army by one. But on a turn in which he charges into combat, he also has terror, so it'll be harder to get in on him once he charges. He actually has Inspiring Presence, so he's kind of like a, like a nerfed Theoden. Any friendly Rohan warrior within six inches of him gets a plus one to their uh, fight value. Unlike on Theoden, where they have to do it on a charge, it just happens with these guys. Um, he has the... Um, let's see here, what does it say? If your force contains Helm Hammer Hand, da da da, you cannot include any other heroes. He's never unarmed. He can use his fist with a bash special rule, knocking people to the ground. Um, the, I'm running the Legendary Legion, but it gives them two special rules, uh, defend the, the Soothberg. Basically, all of my models that have throwing spears can use them when they're on foot as if they are a regular spear. And Helm Hammerhead has the ability to, he gets one free heroic combat per turn, and he also has the ability to do, he can spend one free point of might to do anything per turn. And that's uh, actually out of the War and Rohan book, right? That Legendary Legion? Yes. Sweet. All right, well, we're going to roll for priority and get ourselves deployed. We'll be back. All right, so we're going to roll for priority then. Got my... Uh... Trusty weighted Mordor die. <laughs> yeah. That's a three from me. Uh, I got a one. Hey. I won. John's the PP. I am. Game. I am the PP. So uh, I have to roll to see where my guys come in. So we decided that that direction yes, is north. Yes, this is north. So that would make that east and that west and my direction. Here's our turn one, guys. That is a non-branded D20. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to roll to see where my... Do, do we alternate warbands, you said? Yes. You will basically uh, bring them in. You'll be rolling for them. And um, let's see here. Yeah. You just basically... You deploy one, and then I'll deploy my unit, and then you deploy one... Based on where you're rolling. All right, well, we're going to see where the Lonely Captain comes in. So that is Lonely a, Captain does one. not arrive yet. Well, that sucks. All right, <laughs> so roll for yourself. So this is going to be... Uh, I'm, you know what? Risk it for the biscuit. This is Helm Hammerhand and his riders. And they will come in. You, as my opponent, chooses a point on either the north or south board edge. And it's got to be six inches from a corner, and you move, and I will move move on to the field from so that. So Helm has to come from there. Helm and his unit of guys. Over there. So you want him over here? Yeah. Like how far from the edge? At least six inches. Yeah. Well. So starting here. Yeah, it works for me. Okay. So the way John and I have always determined this is, you basically just have to kind of shimmy everybody. They gotta stay within six inches. So 
essentially, we just, I'm just going to pile them up. All right, we're going to do some movie magic and be back in a sec. So we're back, and that is Helm Hanverhan's uh, Warband. Warband, yep. So, me next. Me next again. Four. Four. You choose a point on either the north or the south board six inches from a corner and bring in a board band. North or south? Yeah, you're on the north or south, but you choose it instead of me. Um. Now, who is this? Is this the dragon? Oh, the great beast. And we're trying to we're trying to get quadrants. Yes, occupied. we're trying to get get quadrants. Uh. No. I don't want the gravies. I guess I should have specified who was actually coming in. We'll we'll let we'll let Goth Mog come in and Goth Mog. It looks like he's had a stroke. He really does. That actually, that's the pre-stroke Goth Mog before his arm was crippled. Oh yeah, I guess he still hasn't. Well, it's got that weird bulbous. Well, that just may be him having an elephant like the Elephant Man disease. Elephant Man disease. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am a man. I'm not an animal. Well, that's up to interpretation. I think, but... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, dude, orcs are not men. Okay. So my last warband is uh, unnamed captain of Rohan number one, and his uh, Rohan Royal Guard. He rolls a three. My opponent chooses a point on either the east or west board edge, six inches from the corner, and brings me in. Come in. There. Okay. So six inches from that, I bring in the captain and his royal hand royal guard. Hello, it's me again. Anyone that can tell me what that reference is from, I'll give you a nickel. Jeez, all right. Well, my uh, I didn't specify again. I was going to say these guys are not coming in. Well, I'm, I'll give you some leeway because you're filming as well. Yeah. I got a lot on my mind. All right, so I guess... I've got no more warbands, yeah, so then you roll for your next it's one. It's me again, so... Two. So I choose one. Now, what warband is this? The guy. The great beast. And yeah. I choose it on the north or the south. Six inches from the table edge. Yep. So I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do, John. I'm going to bring you in... I'll tell you what you won't do. I ain't going to put him up there. <laughs> I mean, I could, because honestly, I do feel like that I think the great beast would be overwhelmed. Um, viewers have no reference point, but for a long time, I was very afraid of the great beast. But the Great Beast has since I have found ways to whip him, and, and very handily. But due to the fact that Helm is new to the table, I'm not risking it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and bring you in Oh, you're right about here. I just want you guys bunched up. You guys can have this quadrant of the table. You're lame. So what's your next warband? Well, um, I'm, I'm it, done. Yeah, okay. we're going to have to go into so the next So then turn. I guess we will roll off for the turn one priority. See who well, the VP turn. is. Two, technically. Yeah, turn two. Six. So you got, you're the PP. I'm so still the PP. Now you, it's at the end of your move phase, so you move what yeah. you have and then bring those guys in. Well, uh. Do so you okay. want me to take over filming while you handle your move? Yes. Oh, I'm going to pivot this guy. He's allowed a 180 degree pivot. I'm only going 90, so it doesn't matter. And then he's got to move up 10 inches. I you want to shimmy over there to another it's, quadrant? It's 10 inches, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. A long oh. day. Well, I guess he's technically got to pivot first. Well, I meant to pivot all the way. No, he's standing there. Whack, you can whine about it. Um, so he's sitting there. <sighs> Pre stroke goth mog. And that, oh, and then I got to roll for these guys. So, yes. only captain. That is a two. And again, that would be your opponent choosing a north or south spot. Okay. So, so I want you to bring that lonely <laughs> captain in right here. I guess it's better than him being alone. Yeah. Alone. You know, to be, to be fair, I probably should have put him up there with me, <laughs> but I'm not going to be that guy. So who, this is your next one. It's a cock die. And that is a four. And you will choose north or south where you want to bring it in at. Well, at this point, there's no reason for me to... Well, yeah, I'm not, I can't... I yeah, can't. I mean, right now, we've got a quadrant up here that's... And it's just got to be six from the corner. Yeah, six from the corner. At least six from the corner. Yep. Now, and as we stand, we've got one quadrant that is completely untouched up here, which is unmolested land, and I'm standing right by it. You sure are. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's the priority player's first turn. Everything is on the table. I'm going to pause it, and uh, we'll come back with John filming my moves. Move, boy. Okie dokie. Um... 
I don't know that I want to take. I mean, here's the thing. These guys, the Rohan Royal Guard, uh, they are fearless, provided that we've got a leader on the field. So they won't have to take a courage test to charge that. It's got a 10-inch move. I don't want to put myself in a position to where uh, it can get me. So we're going to move ourselves up just a smidge here. We got a 10 inch move on horseback. We're going to move up five. So we can still shoot at least with my captain who has a bow. Because the beauty of War Beast Star, if you can score a wound and it fails a courage test, I can take control of it and I may get to trample things. Now, the other beauty of the Lord of the Rings gaming system is these guys don't have to stay together anymore. So um, we can move them all individually. So this is yep. So we got those guys moved up. Yep. So then, oh, now we crazy. go into the shooting phase on turn two. Yep. And I've got shooting. You've got shooting. So I will take over camera duty. Let's right. see if we can do this seamlessly without. Oh, we passed the torch. Okay. So darn it, I need to get my other two guys. For you guys, you can see these grimy, slimy, disgusting, filthy orcs. Okay. Riding so, on the back of the great beast here. So, so fun little story about this. If you can get that in the picture, it'll focus. Yeah, we can see the tri-star symbol. Yeah. So that's not our die. I got that. I went to a tournament in Nashville, um, hosted by these great guys called the Nashville MESBG Group, um, and they're a bunch of wonderful people. And if any of you ever watched this video, um, hi for one. Sorry, I haven't been back up. Um, you know, I was there with Dad last time, and obviously he wouldn't be there again. But I hope to see you guys again. Uh, I loved going out there, and as soon as we get out of this freaking... I'm not even going to say the word. I'm, I'm tired of hearing it. As soon as we get out of this world we're living in right now, I'll be back out there. But anyway, I got those as a prize for being in that tournament. So, shooting. Um, eight bows. What is the defense? That, so, defense five? Uh, he's got the heavy armor, so he should have defense six. Everybody here has got defense six. He may be higher. I'm going to double check that because he is a hero. So, let me pause that and double check. Okay. Okay, quick rules check, and the captain has heavy armor and a shield. So, he is defense seven, while the Rohan Royal Guard are defense six. So, I've faced off against your filthy... Horsey boys a lot, and um, I have a question. Yes. Do the horses have armor? No, but all of my guys have the horse lord. That's right. The heroes do. I don't. I don't. I would have to double check the rules. Seriously? Seriously? On the individuals, but I know that the heroes can decide to take the wound on themselves. Okay. Well, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna aim at the horses because I can. Mm-hmm. So there's. Eight shots and there's four bows. Okay, so yes, just the, the the only the heroes have it. The uh, if you aim at the Rohan Royal Guard, mm -hmm. they uh, cannot take it on the uh, they cannot take it on themselves. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I have eight shots and there's four horses, so I'm yep. just gonna do them two at a piece. So there's that guy at the end. Yep. Right. I'm gonna measure anyway for good. Yeah, I'm I'm in range of everybody. Um, it's two in the end. It's a six. I need a five to hit because yep. they don't suffer the movement penalty yep. since they're on a, in a howdah. So that's a hit. And then a two against a four is going to be a probably five. Yeah. That's a three. Okay, so nothing happens to the horse. So then we're going to go to the next guy. No hit. No hits. I'm going to use these dice this time. And that was for this guy. Yep. So now on to the captain. No hits. And okay. the last one. You do have a hit. And nothing. Okay. That's kind of what we expected. No. Okay. I was going to so, say, these guys have the Hatred of Man special rule. And that might even be a melee specific thing. You just want to pause it and take a look? Nah. Okay, so I'm going to just pass the torch. I've got one bow shot. And it's from the captain. Our bows are a little different. They're, I mean, you're what? Strength 2, 18 inch range. Humans yeah. are... 24 inch range, strength through uh, strength, strength two. two. So strength two, but it's 24 inch range. Yeah. So we moved, and that means we hit on a five as well. Yep. And we're shooting at the great beast of Gorgonoth, which I mean, it should give me a bonus to shoot at it. But we need a five, and we do get a five. Okay. So that's a hit. Now, if I can cause a wound, 
we had to take courage test. The defense value on that is a six, correct? Yes. Okay. So two versus a six is just handy dandy I'm, quick reference chart. I'm gonna check it just to make sure, but I'm pretty positive it's six. Yeah, it's it's even if it's a six, then I need a six. No, it's defense seven. Okay, Sorry. so it's a six followed by a four. Yep. Oh, six. Six. That's a two. But huh. you know what? He's the, he's a hero. <laughs> do I want to spend his my points immediately? I'm not gonna tell you what to do. <laughs> um, I, I mean, it, it it could be really bad or it could be really good. Uh, he's only got two points of might. And you got to take a courage test. Which what's the courage test on that leader that's riding him? Uh, I think he's got like courage four. So I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, the average roll on two d six is a six. I'm not gonna waste it. So. It was it was a fun chance. It was it was a fun. Dis- hey, dis- you didn't lose fun. anything. No, didn't lose anything. Yeah. Didn't waste anything, and you know it, that, that it was a uh, it was a uh, nice chance at it. All right, so we're gonna get moved on to turn uh, three. Yep, for the pro- roll for priority for turn three. Yep. Let's go right into it. Six. Oh, six. I get to go first yep. this turn. So moving. Uh. You gonna do heroic moves? We're allowed to measure in this game, aren't we? This yeah. isn't this isn't bolt action, is it? Okay. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass that to you. Now just keep you right out of range. But that also means you're just out of range. Yeah, that's I mean that was that was so, the goal because if I lost priority, I didn't want you to be able to get in on me. Yeah. Okay. We're good. Okay. We're good with what's happening. Okay. So in this case, I'm just gonna you know we're gonna stay put right here. Um, we're actually. I mean, right now, this you've got me by a total a number. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Well, see, that was kind of like... I was expecting you to put, if not him, at least these guys over there, because I, th- I was like, well, now, yes, you control that quadrant, but I'm just going to wipe those guys out, right? <laughs> that's, that's a possibility. <laughs> But uh, Helm Hammerhand may be bringing some support over. Looks like it. Yeah, you're pretty fast at moving these. I don't even know that I need to skip it. Well, to be fair, I started with Rohan, and we know that we know the uh, the deep love I have for the Horse Lords. So I have got I have become pretty pretty advanced at this. And you know what? kind of want to do I mean I don't want to move because I want to get my shots at full ballistic skill so at that point I will add that's the end of my moves okay so I guess it's time for me to move then I will play a gentleman's game <laughs> and I will move you're sending your horses forward Sure These are the cataphracts that I was so terrified for so long until I faced them in battle. Yeah, and you had absolutely no reason to be influenced for sure. Well, one game in particular, I think I devoted probably 75% of my forces to taking out, what, two units of them? Something like that. And then realized that the game was won somewhere else. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that game. That was yep. back when we were still in the garage. Yep. Before we moved into the man cave that was, here. That was a minute ago. I know what I'm doing probably looks funny to everybody watching. But like I said, I have learned how to deal with his horses. And unorthodox armies require unorthodox tactics. You've already moved this turn, so I'm safe in doing this, I believe. I'm just going to scooch him up just enough. Okay, so we're going on to shooting. And yep. you're the priority player. Yep, so. Captain's going to take a shot at, um, you know what, I'm going to shoot at your, uh, the guy right, well, if I take him out, somebody takes a spot, right? Well, I don't think you can aim it. Well, you can aim at the riders, but you have to take it in the way roll. For the howdah, yeah. yeah, and the beast. And the beast. Yeah. So I mean I cannot I mean like what is his stat line? I don't what, think it's that much smaller like he, he, like the actual guy that's commanding him. I know he's not as tough. He's got like a strength 
four, four, three or four defense, like four or five. Just like just your just, yeah. Uh, somebody will take his spot if I take him out, right? Yeah. No. 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 So then, the, then he would lose. The, he would. What, what, then he would. Then the then the great beast goes off his own leadership if he fa- if he gets one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he does. The commander does have. Um, well, he has. Yeah, he's got fate. I'm sure. Might will and fate. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and take another shot at the great beast again, needing a needing a four this time. That's, uh, it, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. So a six followed by four. Nope. So that's that. I rolled a one. And that's all the shooting I've got. So again, we'll pass it off. Yep. So we're just going to do the same thing we did last time, basically. Because I don't have anything better to shoot at. So, so again, John's driving two <clears throat> at each horse. Yep. So two for the first horse. Snake eyes. I'm just going to roll through the dice. Two for the next horse. Ooh. Ooh, we got two hits. So I'm getting fives. Yep. Snake eyes. You might want to put those dice away tonight. <laughs> so this was the captain. That is one. And that's not enough, yep. That's one. Hey! Hey, so you do take him off. Yeah. Now, he is a horse lord, so... Well, no, uh, he's an expert rider. Yeah. So he's going to take a thrown rider test, and he gets to re-roll it. Yep. So, uh, I'm not going to re-roll that. Just put him on his feet. So his horse runs away, and I will put a Rohan Royal Guard on foot... He landed on his knee, hero pose, ready to go. Nice. Is that actually a Royal Guard model? Yeah. Nice. They came in packs. They used to come in packs of three, relatively inexpensive. Love the way you did those shields. I was going for the whole Saxon look because, from my and I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments. Tolkien, he he modeled Rohan on the Saxon peoples of England, but only if they had actually use horses like the Normans. So I wanted to go with a Saxon theme paints on the on the on the shields. I think that's about right. So yeah. then I guess we will now because that we have no melee. That puts yep. us on to priority for turn four. Yep. Okay. So we can just go right at it. So I got a one. Okay, so I got a three. Okay, so now You thinking about doing a heroic? I'm definitely gonna do a heroic move. Okay. Well, I will counter the heroic move with the captain. Okay. And do then, you want to do it? Do you have any more you want to do? Yeah. Okay. I want to do one with... Um, no, nah, I, won't, I won't do okay. that. I won't, I won't counter So as a priority player, we do a roll-off. Evil players... One through three. One through three. Theirs goes first. Four, five, six. So... Good guys, guys. So, anyone who's been watching this channel up to this point knows that you roll like absolute garbage. Yes. This is going to be the one time yes. when I need you to roll bad, you're not going to. There it is. Ha! <laughs> Got him! What did I say? <laughs> so, the good guys get to go first. What did I say? <laughs> so, the, uh, the, but the thing is, I will actually have to take a leader, I have to take a courage test with my captain because yeah. he's not fearless. The good news is, if I've got at least one guard... They're fearless. So I'm going to send the guard first. And you know what? Well, you, still have, you still have to range. take the courage test. Yeah, then. well, the guard doesn't because he's fearless. Yeah. Well, but I mean for anyone else subsequently. Yes. But yeah, so, but like I wanted to be able to tie him up. So this, it actually does come down to the captain because the guard can't make that charge. He can get close. Did I really put him out of range? Well, wow. yeah, well, for that one guard. He's literally, look at that. That right there is base to base. Wow. So these guards are going to move up the full 10 inches. They can't throw spears because you can't, you you know, do ranged attacks. But the captain is going to. Um, well, no, no, hold on, hold on. I hate to be that guy, but one inch. I get that's true. Inch. Yeah, that's true. I thought I wasn't thinking, but yeah, you got it. Um, I just was going off what I measured and rolled with it. The captain's courage because of the warhorn is actually a five. Yep. So two d six plus five, and we'll see if he makes the charge. So he's good. Oh my goodness. Insane courage. Now, he can make his charge, so he will stop an inch out of range and throw a throwing spear. Mm-hmm. And you don't take a ballistic penalty for throwing spears when you're actually doing it on a charge. So, needing a four? Nope. So, he just goes on in. Let me, I'm just going to have to spin him so that he gets underneath. So, there we go. So, if he hadn't have made it, I would have actually got my charge. Yes. If the captain had not made his charge, you would have been able to run those guards over. I took a calculated risk. Um... 
<laughs> You're going to trudge up a little bit there. And then the cavalry, quite literally, is on the move. I wish my uh, my other captain was capable. I, first off, I wish he was a hero and my other captain was capable of doing a heroic challenge because I would totally challenge him just so that... Just to see it? Just, just because why not? If you agree, I'll agree. Well, he's not really a captain. I don't think it's a fair fight. I was going to say our, our two lone soldiers can, can go at it. Which one's... um That guy over there. Oh, the yeah. One. Bring him on. <laughs> but I mean, it, it's a royal guard. I mean, he's not a, he's not a hero. But, I mean, you know, let him fight it out. Um, and then I don't... I mean, like, we're going off the center of the table. You know what? Just for... I'm not going to measure. I'm not going to measure off the center of the table because I want it to be a surprise when the end of the game, you know, if we've got anybody in range. But I am going to scoot these guys up. To, like, right about here. So that we can... Maybe I'm within range to shoot, and I'll check that after you've made your moves. Right. Okay. Here's that. Uh, well, he is technically not... I think I'm outside of his controls. Well, either way, I can just move him. Yeah, send somebody to him first, and then you can then you can shoot right past him. Then do that. This is a moment where I just hope that the Royal Guard can last a turn. Because I think we can both agree, John has been on the end of the Rohirrim charge. And he has told me on numerous occasions that it's not fun. This is for me. I'm hoping that the Rohan Royal Guard and the Captain can stand their ground for at least one turn. Because Helm Hammerhand and his guys, depending on how things go, they're going to come in like a hammer. Was that a pun? Yeah, they're going to come in like a hammer hand. There it is. But um, The goal is to do this in such a way... You want to spread it out and block up the field, you know? Take up control zones. Yeah, but also so that everyone's within six inches of him. Yep. And most of them, at least the majority of them. Okay, so you've still got shooting because your guys are not tied up in combat. Nope. Now, will they take an in-the-way roll because of the Great Beast or the Howder or anything? No. Okay. Uh, I will do my shooting first as the priority player. However, they would have to take the in-the-way rolls for, like, if I were to shoot them. So, really, I'm just going to shoot at him. Yep. Yeah. Or so, maybe him, too. Here, I'll let you take over for a second, and I am going to see if I can make any shots with these guys. They will be hitting on fives because they did move. This guy here, I think we can all agree, can see this guy. No, the well's in the way. Uh, but i tell you what, I'm going to do the old... Uh, we're gonna aim at this guy, and then, you oh know. Oh my god! You know, I mean, just it's more dice roll. Only good things can happen. Um, is that is that true? It is true. It's one hundred percent true. <coughs> okay. <coughs> uh, I think that one's out of range, but uh, no, it's not. So this this one here will shoot at this guy. These two here will shoot at that guy, and then I think. I can shoot this guy with that one. So, yep. So, so starting with this guy shooting at this lone orc, needing a five. That's cocked. It, that's a miss. This one and this one are shooting at that guy. So, one at a time, the one in the front. Misses. The one in the back. Misses. This guy here. Yeah, you can see him. That's, that's a hit. hit. Nothing. So that's my shooting. You would have needed a... Well, you have a defense seven. Six. Yeah, we needed a six to even get a wound yep. on him. And, uh, yeah, we're into combat. Yep. Do you do? Are you going to shoot with oh, your... Yeah. yeah. Because you got your orcs, on, your orcs on the back of the great beast. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four shots into that guy. And then we'll do the other four shots into him. So four shots into that guy. Two hits. And his defense six. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Well. You would have needed yeah, sixes. Yeah, I would need sixes. You're six. at least three above. Yep. Uh, and then same thing, but on the other guy. Okay. So you do get one hit. Now, did, since you aimed to the captain, and this is actually going on the captain, because yeah. you got to take your in the way. So it's going on to the captain. Now you roll the wound. Because he's got an in the way roll of the horse. 
I just rolled that. No, no, but yeah, you that, that's your in the way roll. Oh, because because yeah. you shot at him, so now that would be for your wound roll. That sucks. Okay, so now we're going to combat. Okay, so as the priority player, I will pick him and choose here. Uh, so it looks like th- okay, this guy's facing off against two. Yep. Uh, that guy there will have a negative one to his because mm-hmm. he's carrying a banner, correct? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to do that one against that. Neither one of us will get the extra attacks because, you know, cavalry. we cavalry against cavalry. You don't get the extra bonuses. What? You still get the... Uh, no, yeah, you don't, right, yeah, yeah. You don't get the extra attack or the knockdown bonus against yeah. other cavalry. So it's just one die versus one die. So we're going to do that one first? Yep, we're going to do this. Uh, this guy against that guy. Okay, so he's going to have three attacks, I believe. Oh, is he a dragon, dragon yeah, knight? Yeah, he's the dragon knight. Okay, uh, so let, me, just... let me check my rules to make sure I'm not dumb. It's 3d6. This is not looking good for the guard. No. Ah, I rolled a one, so I will back up. And he's going to be strength four. Against six, so you need fives. And, um, yeah. That'll do it. The Rohan guard goes Dead. down. Next is this Rohan guard against those two. So I'm going to get the one attack for this black dragon. Yep. That's, that's too much. A, yeah, I don't even need to roll. Yeah, because they have a There's fight nothing I can do. Yeah, so. Before. Um, and then is it? It's my. I know it's minus one to the dual roll with the banner. It's not minus one. It's to not. Win. Yes, as far as I know, it's just to the dual roll. Uh, so I don't think no, that that won't enough. be enough. Because he, uh, you need at least uh, strength four versus defense six. You need at least five. Yeah. So that at least we do. We do have one guy survive. <clears throat> the only other melee we have is the <laughs> Rohan captain versus the uh, Great Beast. Captain has two attacks, and the Great Beast is. I mean, it's 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 a war beast. So I don't get my. I don't get any extra cavalry stuff no. there as well. So I'm gonna get three attacks from the beast, and then I'm gonna have two attacks from the uh, dude on top. The dude with the the pike. Yeah. I don't know that you can even. Uh, yeah, I can. I can mic that up. And I but think, I mean, well, my fight value is four, and I don't remember what the beast is. It might actually be four. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So our fight value is tied. So I, I can mic it up and tie it, and then I can roll for it. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend a point of mic for the captain and take him down to one. And uh, we are gonna roll for it and see if the good guys can uh, take this one. We do not, so I will fall back an inch, and then you will deal your wounds. And okay, the so captain will, that, that, that wing did fold because I didn't. I, I should have spread you out more, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, you also got a big freaking horde coming. So. Yeah, it's, it, it, uh, maybe retribution will be swift. and. It's going to be three strikes sitting on strength six. Wow, that's... Yeah, you know, he's defense seven. You needed a five. Okay. And then the two from the other guy are going to be strength four. Oh, so, yeah. So that, you know what? I'll take it. I mean, honestly, with everything that hit those three guys, to still have two guys left, I'll take it. Okay. And so then I guess that takes us into priority on this. Is this going to be turn five now? Yep. I think so. Bam! I rolled a three. If I can find the number five, there it is. So four. So Rohan five. takes priority. Uh. D- See if I've okay. I'm gonna do a heroic move with the Dragon Knight. Okay, so I am going to counter that with a heroic move from the Captain. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come back with anything? Do you, else? Can you? He's yes. He's got one more point of might left. Well, because he has three. He had two. He's only used one. Well, didn't didn't he uh, call one? Earlier? No, he didn't have to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we right. were we were discussing it, but he never had to. He's yeah, he's only used one, and that was for. Well, the, we yeah. rolled for something. We rolled a we rolled a die. Remember? Pause that for a second, because I yeah. don't know why I didn't. Okay, so we talked it over, and I was right. Uh, he just forgot to mark that off from earlier, so he's actually out of might. So then I guess I mean I don't really have a heroic move to call because uh, how you know when you call a heroic move and and then with me the hero has to move first. 
and then everybody within six inches has to move with him, and they have to start within six inches and end within six inches. Yeah. The only person I could do that with is Helm Hammerhand, and he is sadly at the moment behind everybody, so there's no point in it. And honestly, they've done their job. They can fold. Cool. Um, so, yeah. So, I guess my Black Dragon gets to go first. Uh, so, he's going to try to move past, but he can't because there's a control zone there. So, he's just going to hit him. But he's going to call with me. So, these guys are going to get to go around. And I know they have enough movement. So, he's going to tie him up. And then he's going to move through like that. And then, yeah, that's okay. that. So then I will... Um, question. Yep. Does he count as part of his with me? Well, kind of like in, our, in, the, in the game we played not too long ago, if it's a model that's within six inches well, of the dragon... Well, the reason I ask is because they're two different... Well, yeah, but if it's a model that's within six inches, when you call it with me, mm -hmm. if they don't move, then they do forfeit their move for the turn. Well, but they're, but they're two different um, Yeah, it doesn't factions. matter. It just says, uh, well, I mean, I guess that would be more into your rule book, depending on the wording of the rules. Because when you look at the rule book, it's, it just says, when you call it with me, and this is, uh, we, you know, we do have a video on a um, rule book review. <laughs> we, we go on and we wax poetic about indexes. Yep. But um, literally, flip through the book, it says, with me, tells me exactly what page to go to. So page 69... And it says, a hero model performing a heroic move may choose to shout with me. In this case, note their starting position before moving them. Any friendly models within six inches of that point may also move, so long as they end their move within six inches of the hero. If they do not choose to move as part of that, they will forego their movement and cannot act any further. So he was right there. You've got one, I think. I think both of those guys are... If he was, yeah, you've actually got, where was he at? He was like right, like touching. Okay, these. so yeah, you've got those two guys there that either they, they either they move and just move closer to him or they don't get to move at all. But they can stay put. Screw it. Okay, so now it's your moving then. Okay. So, that being the case, I know you're, I know these are just a big, fat, like, distraction card effects. <laughs> I know that's what they are. I don't want to give you that. I don't want to give you that. That'll get that'll put me in a position to uh, to be countercharged there. So we're just gonna move up. Get these guys in a position where they can at least shoot over so uh, shoot over so uh, shoulders. Sh shoulders. What does that mean? You know what I mean. Shoot over soldiers. Shoulders. That one can't, so he's just going to move on all the way up. Four. And... That, that's a Dragon Knight, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I don't care. I ain't scared. The thing is, I can't throw spears. Because they're already in combat. Yeah, so we're just going to go in on these guys, and we're just going to try to decimate this uh, infantry here. These guys don't have them, so they're just going to charge... Let's go with this guy first. And then this guy's going to come in on him. See how much cleaner this is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the rest of these guys need to go this way. I'll offer a little bit of support there. Uh, let's just move these guys up some. I'm going to spread them out some so that uh, Helm Hammerhand has a chance to spread his legs. Stretch his legs a little bit, as my dad used to say. You know what? That guy's got kind of no control zone. That guy... Technically, this should be done as part of their movement, so let me resolve that. So, throwing spear, needing a four, no hit, 
So this guy's control zone is locked down. Throwing spear against him. We get a hit. What's the defense? Seven? Six. So defense six. Three versus six is a six. So, nope. So he just crashes into him there. Oh my gosh, the road. It's fine. Basically, right there. Yeah, we get So no control zone. So that means Helm Hammer Hand is going to swing in there like so. He does not have a throwing spear. But he will end his combat. Hey, you there. didn't say crash in there. I did not say crash. I did. I tried to watch it this time. <laughs> um. Now, before we go, now just to make sure I'm clear, when I call heroic like combats and things like that, that has to be done at the very beginning of the melee phase, correct? Yeah. Okay. Because he kind of like Goth Mog. Goth Mog's got what Master of Battle. Yeah, so basically whatever you do, he can do for free. Yeah, so like, and the thing yeah. is, I can do stuff for free in return, so it's going to get a... It's gonna yeah. Get a <laughs> uh, speaking of Gothmog. Nice. Uh, he's going to offer his support there, and he's also going to offer his support there, and he's going to go whack him, and he's going to help him out. No, he's not. He's going to help him out. And then this guy's just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eyeball it to six inches. I don't feel like getting my measuring tape. That's okay. six inches, right? So wait. Yeah, so, I'm not done yet. Well, I was going to just around you there. We still do have some shooting. Well, I'm not. I'm not done. Move. Pivot. This pivot. Is I'm gonna hand this to you because this is where the measuring tape is gonna be. Well, now you only get the one pivot before you move, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. So I have ten inches from the base, and that is the edge of the base. I can get to there, provided that nothing stops him. I think he's going to come into contact. Yep, he hits that one. Okay, so that's two strength six, six hits against the rider and the horse. Yep. And there's nothing against, I guess I should have specified, the rider. Nothing against the rider. And that's going to kill the horse. Yeah, that'll kill the horse. So do a thrown rider test here. And that's good enough. So I will hand this back to you, John, and throw. Him. I'll have him stand up on foot there. Which, thankfully, I mean, I'll take that. That's enough to stop him. No, as long as he kills stuff. Well, because he didn't well, yeah, kill cause the... He, yeah, because he can't... If, if, he, if he can't completely clear it. Yeah, now, my question to you is, is like, is he in base contact now, or... Well, no, I mean, he's not now, but if you keep moving straight, like, you can hit another one, but, like, as long as you're not, as long as, as long as you don't kill everything and you can't keep going without touching bases, you do stop. Well, because, yeah, fair enough, okay. So, we measured, I can get to about yeah. right there. So, basically, these next, I might hit my own guy here, and I'll let you take camera duty. Oh, uh, I'm trying not, I'm trying to keep him straight. I do actually miss my own guy, like, narrowly by mil. Well, I'm going to hit him after I hit him, probably. Um, so, same thing. The gold ones are against the horse. The red ones are against the rider. So, the rider's he's dead. So, which one's which? The red ones with the rider. The okay. Ones with the horse. But I'm about to hit my own guy and probably kill him, too. Bonk. So, two strength six hits. Uh, strength six against six needs a four. Yeah. If he's dead... Keep on going, and it's just going to be these last two guys. Same thing. Gold's going to be the horse. Red's going to be the rider. So, six against, what's his defense? They're fives. So, I would need a four. Yeah. So, you yeah, like three. Yeah, so you killed the rider and you killed the horse. Yeah. On one of them, and then you got one more still there. Yeah, well, it was technically the other guy, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're going to say six one way half does nether. Um, and then the horse dies, and, that, and then the rider dies too. Yeah. So I'll take that, and then he would end about right there. I will take that. Because <laughs> that puts me right now. I'm broken at eleven models. Well, and for the people watching, I I need you to know that seems harsh what just happened, but I also like half of my well, not half, but like a. About a quarter of my points are in this one model, so like, yeah, I was kind of, basically if that didn't just happen, then things would probably not go my way at all. But it's far from over, because he's very killable, and he's already used one point of his might, but he only gets two. 
Yeah, yeah. So So now we got shooting and yep. uh and you get to go first. Which yeah. it doesn't other than maybe this guy, you can't really well, Yeah, I mean that's all we're gonna target at. I mean I've got basically what looks to be four riders that can shoot at him. Mm-hmm. The other guys, there's just there's combat in front, and good guys don't shoot at other good guys. So, starting um, front to back, the two the two light browns and the two darker horses. So we're shooting at the Easterling, which that's an Easterling captain. Mm-hmm. So up front needs a five, missed it because we moved. Guy in the back, missed it. Guy in the front. It's a hit. What's the defense on him? Six? I want to say it's six, yeah. Okay, so two versus six needs a six. Maybe a six followed by seven doesn't matter. Or six followed by four doesn't matter. Next one misses it. So that's all my shooting. All right. So uh, I have some shooting on El Bisto. I'll just kind of do the same thing I've been doing. I'll put four shots into him, two into him, and two into him. So here's the four for the guy on the right. So now, are you shooting at the horses or the guys? Because you will take in the ways. It doesn't matter because I'll have to take it in the way regardless. Yeah. So. Well, not if you shoot at the horse. Oh, you don't take it in the way. For the no, horse? because the horse is bigger oh. than the rider. Well, I'll just shoot at the horse from now on then. But I, I missed regardless. Okay. I need a five. Uh, same thing. We got in net order. Uh, I did hit the horse. Didn't kill it though. And okay. the last guy. Okay. So as the PP, the priority player. I will choose combats. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and do the captain versus the bannerman over here because you will take a negative one to your yep. dual roll. Captain's got two attacks. So I'm going to push you back on I'm going to re-roll that. I'm going to re-roll that one. There you go. Okay. Still, still not good enough. Yeah, still be a three. So um, no control zone. He backs up an inch. And... Captain will attack. What's your defense value? Because you're a cataphract, you got the shield. Are you a seven or six? Six. six. So I'm going to attack needing five because I'm strength four. Ooh. Oh. That's rough. But Terry did a good job putting these together. Yeah, they're very sturdy. Very sturdy. So I need some fives. That's one wound. It gets the rider. Yep. So you're dead. So there goes your banner, which t- helps with the rerolls. Next is going to be this one lone guard against, against the right. Against, so you get two dice because you made the charge. Yes, that's right, because he's an infantry. So uh, your I'm five black, value is higher than yeah. mine, I think, because I don't think I get a buff to that. Let me double check. No, I will win because I'm a black dragon. What's your five value? Four? Four. Well, you're actually fighting a royal guard, so let me double check. Oh, yeah, he might. Yeah, he's not a, ride, he's not a regular rider. Uh, five value four, yeah. So, so I'll roll off for that. PP roll. Yeah. That's okay, you. So I, so I actually get knocked down until you get four strikes against him, and um, I don't know that those are enough because he's defense six. Strength uh, three. Yeah. Well, you get, no, you're black dragon. I thought you got strength four. No, and, no courage four. Courage yeah. four. And yeah. So three versus six, you needed a six. So yeah, he's so just knocked fine. down. It's fine. Yeah, it's now we've got. This guy and this guy. So I've got two dice versus three. And I brought Snake Eyes. No no yeah. chance of winning that. So we will back up. So he actually gets knocked down. Well, yes. Well, did you make the charge? Because um, the knockdown only happens on the charge. Yes, because I used his, uh, his uh, heroic move to do that. That's right. And you moved it on him. Yeah. Yep. So even counter charges. So yes, he would get knocked down. So I'll tell you what. I double my strikes against that target. So I'm, I'm going to only put one strike at the guy in the ground and the other two at the guard. So the two... But no, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. So you get yeah. two strikes against the guard. Okay. Yeah. So that takes that... Well, yeah, because what's your strength? Um, five. Okay, that's enough to kill the guard. Or at least four. Let me, let me check just to be... It, yeah, it wouldn't matter if it was a four... It wouldn't matter if it was a three. A three versus a six is a six. Yeah. So you kill him regardless. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stupid book keeps falling down. Okay. Yeah, so he's gone. Uh, then and then him. you got the two dice. You should have two dice against the guy on the ground. And he's defense five, so he's gone as well. So this is the first game where my Dragon Knight has actually been used to good effect. Believe it or not. I need to keep track... Oh, careful, careful. Honestly, I think you kill the beast and I break. Maybe, but that's a, that's going to be a lot to do. I'm trying to keep track of how many I've lost. 
because I've got, right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've actually lost six. I think I'm breaking five more models. Uh, okay. So, I guess we're going to go into the melee over here. Yep. So, we've got these guys all, and basically everybody here made their charges. So, mm -hmm. it's going to be, well, I'm going to go ahead and do this guy. It was supposed to be these two against him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this... You'll have three dice, correct? If if I if I do one big solid S. Nah, well, Gothmog is on this guy. He's yeah. getting the spirit support from him. That's what. That's who I would give okay. it to, yeah. So, in this case, I, I'm going to do one big melee over here. It's okay. going to be these two riders against those two. So, it'll be four for me and two for you. Now, we do get a buff to our fight value because we're within six inches of Helm Hammerhand. Uh, and we will get the Hatred of Man special if we win, so... Okay, so... You win. Yep, I got that one. Those two dudes will get pushed back an inch and knocked to the ground, and we will double our strikes against them. So, four strikes going into the one on the end from the guy on the light-colored horse there. Uh, I don't think we get a... Defense six. And... Yeah, but I don't think we get the... Uh, pause oh. that for a second. Let me double-check my, my strength on the charge, because that, well, that that's actually a, a Rohan rule, so I think I still yeah. get it. So you don't get it, and it's going to be three versus enough, six. Yeah. So yeah. that's not good enough. Now the next guy into the other one that got knocked down. Oh, yep. yeah. That's not enough to do him either. Jeez. That's see that that's the thing. Like that's where the lances on the regular knights are much better. Oh, like the knights of yeah. uh, like ministerial yeah. or whatever. And I and I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm supposed to be using the rifle for ruin in world's ending. I know it's a Rohan. Army specific rules. No, because you lose your army rules when you do the yeah. legendary legion. So, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, that's why we're not using it. Yeah. Um, over here, I've got this guy against him and his spear support. So I've got two dice versus your two. So, got a three and a five. So yeah, you win. we win that one, and they get pushed back, and I double strikes, and they can all only can go into uh, the one guy. Yeah, because he wasn't actually. Yeah, he's not in the combat. So and that's defense six. Yep. And I said another me. bad roll. Come on. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. Now Helm Hammerhand gets to fight. All right, uh, so. I'm gonna, I, I didn't call it, so I'm not going to do it. I should have called oh. it Heroic Combat so that I could swing. But the way I'm rolling, I don't know that I get any kills anyway. So Helm Hammerhand gets three attacks, and he's fighting Gothmog and the two, and the two Spearmen, correct? Uh, three three Spearmen. Cause, oh, that's right. He yeah. got Spear Support. What's the Goth Mob's fight value? It doesn't um, matter. I didn't call it a rogue strike. Yeah. I think it's five, by the way. But so I'm going to have. These three are going to be from Goth Mog. And then these two are. Three are going to be from everybody else. Okay. Then. Um, so we're. I'm going to go ahead. And, yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and spend a point of might to bump it to five. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Then I will go ahead and spend another one to bump it to six. And I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> okay. So we are, we are, I mean, I don't know how much might you have left. I've got one, one. left. Yep, I got one left. So I guess we do a roll off. And <laughs> that's this just, is just not looking good for us tonight. No, nope, that's just been the it's way just, it has yeah. gone. Um, so he's got a defense what? Defense seven. And Gothmog's gonna be strength. I'm gonna guess five here. I'll let you take that. I actually haven't gotten to use Gothmog that much. I got him not too long ago. Um, Gothmog. Uh, yeah, strength five. No, strength four. So, so four, he needs sixes. Yeah, four against seven. Yeah, uh, and then what are the regular orcs? Are they fours or threes? They're fours as well. So everybody needs sixes to, to wound the helm, the hammer hand. But they actually need uh, fives because they have hatred of men. Okay. So basically just everybody rolling on a five here. Which will probably kill him because he's got three wounds and three points of fate. Oh, you dealt one wound. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend a point of fate. because, Or is it reroll ones? Let me check the hate. It might be reroll ones. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to get something out of it, but let me just make sure. Uh, no, it adds one to their wound rolls when fighting and combat against models with the keyword and brackets. So, yeah. so you needed five. Okay. Yeah. So you got one. I'm going to spend a point of fate. Well, actually. Well, no, you needed you needed sixes. Yeah, I needed sixes. So, yeah, so, so any fives, yeah. yeah. 
So I'm going to roll my fate roll here. Needing a four up. Uh, you know what? I'm not wasting any more of my stinking points because my dice aren't rolling, so I'm just going to take that wound and give John the victory point. So he's got uh, three attacks. Eh, two wounds for the helmet hammer hand, so that's a victory point for you. And a very, very poor, poor turn for Rohan. Yeah, that could have went way better than it Okay, here. so then we roll for priority for the sure. next turn, which we turn six. Well... Unless you roll a one, I'm you're going. Now you jinxed me. I'll roll, I'm gonna roll a one. Oh, roll a three. No. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna have to do a um, heroic move with. I'm gonna Gothmar. have to counter it too then. Okay, and then I also want to do a heroic move after that with the great beast. Okay. So, I guess roll off as a priority player who gets to go first, which it will be either Gothmog or, or Helm Hammerhand. So, Helm Hammerhand will go first, and that's my last point of my. Oh, uh, I'm going to counter to get that. <laughs> so, Helm Hammerhand, um, he's not fearless. Oh, you know what we didn't do? What? My fault. When he makes a charge, he causes terror. So, on oh. that last turn, everybody that, sh everybody that came in should have taken courage tests. Oh. Not that it makes a difference. I mean, I mean, yeah, I think it's a little too late now. So, but he's going to basically charge. It might have made a difference with. Um, See if he passes. His courage value is uh, six. He makes it. So he goes in, and uh, that was a heroic move. Anybody within six inches, they got to end within six inches, or they forfeit. So, Courage Test for this Rohan Rider, which is Courage 5 now, because, no, Courage 4, because the basic Rider is 3. Yeah, Courage 4 sounds right. Uh, yeah, uh, Courage 3, so it's Courage 4 now that's because of the horn. So, to charge the beast, that's good enough. He's going to throw a spear. This guy's going to charge the beast. Wait. and Courage 4, that's good enough? Yeah, well, okay, he rolled a 6. So that was a five. It was a four and a one, wasn't it? Yeah, you might have to check that footage. Because <laughs> uh, that would have been a five, right? A four and one would have been a five, which would have made it a then, nine. Yeah, then don't even worry about it. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was. It doesn't matter. He's not he doesn't, He's not into the effect. Uh, he was here. I don't want to check the measurement. Anybody else can make it. He would have been the only one in that direction. So this guy's going to attempt it. He is good. He's going to throw a spear at the war beast. Um... This guy, these two guys were in range as well, and they're going to go ahead and charge this direction. Yeah, he's going to go this way and throw a spear at him, and then he's going to charge Gothmog and throw a spear. So, spear on the guy on the ground. Well, first off, start the one that could do it. Into the beast, needing four. Nothing. So he just comes in. This guy into the guy on the ground. He makes it. He hits it. The guy's defense six, uh -huh. so I need a six. Nope. And the last one in the Gothmog needs a four to hit. Nothing. So. And Gothmog's heroic move now gets canceled, and the Great Beast would get his is canceled as well, right? Yep. So then we just continue on with the regular movement phase. Yep. So this guy will stand up. He's got three inches of movement left. He's going into this guy right here. And then the captain is going to charge into this guy. I'm going to double check that I gave him throwing spears. Because I might try to do some dirty maneuvers here. I'm pretty sure I gave him everything, but I'm going to double check. I mean, honestly, the way I'm rolling, it doesn't really matter what I've given him. <laughs> But I'm going to double check. Yes, yeah, so the captain has throwing spears. So I'm going to throw a throwing spear at the horse. Okay. That's, That's very unsure. It, is, it yeah. is an armored horse. Yes. But the armored horse is what? Defense five? Yeah. So. Okay, there's a hit. So into the horse is. Um, I need a five. And I have no might left. So we yeah. just. It planks off his armor harmlessly. Uh, so, 
this guy failed because he took a courage and failed it. These guys are going to attempt it as well. He's not, I think. He's going to charge this into this guy here. He will attempt to charge the Great Beast. And that is a seven, so he makes yeah, it. Yeah, he's good. Did that guy have a throwing spear? Yes, but he can't throw oh, because he's already yeah. in combat. Same reason why I didn't throw with him. Yeah. The rest of the movement... That's over a campfire. We're not leaping that. I mean, I guess I could, but... Oh, you could easily leap that. I could leap it, but I mean, if I roll a one, I yeah, tumble yeah. off my horse, so it's yeah, not worth true. it. Um, getting close to being quartered here, so we're just going to move some people back. Is that when the game ends? Yeah, the game's over when somebody yeah. gets quartered. I think that's all the movement I got. Okay, so I'm gonna send him back up. Well, now can they stand up when they're already engaged? Yes, because remember we went over that with the Theoden. Uh, that's thing, right. Like, because ages that, that ago. one game yeah. we got it wrong. We had Theoden on his back the entire time. Yeah. Um. He's in there. He'll help him out. He will help. He will go into him, and he'll help. And he'll stand up and go around that way. And or does he have the movement to do that? Because he got this um, three inches. Three inches from right there. Well, he was kind of like right here. Okay. Yeah, he was. Little, yeah, then he's got the movement for that then. So he'll go right there. Then he'll go there. Well, he's good. He can't that last spear. Um. Um. Oh. That's it. Yep, that's everything. Okay. Um, so I don't have any shooting because they moved full range and they backed up and everybody's engaged. Yeah, and I'm going to shoot at... I'm just going to put two shots and everybody over there around him. There's four, right? Okay, yep. Well, yeah, one, two, three, So four. just starting from left to right. First guy, and I'm shooting at the rider. Okay. That's a hit. I guess I should... So now you're you taking in the way for the, against the horse because you're shooting yeah. at the rider. So that goes into the horse. And that's not enough. Then the next guy... That guy, That's, that's uh, one hit goes into the horse that is enough so i take the throne rider on this guy here and he lands on his feet okay and then the next guy that's nothing and that was held held okay so you do get two hits on that one one goes on the horse one goes on the rider so horse horse rider neither one okay and so we're under combat, right? Okay, yeah. We're in so there, right? I want to make it very clear. I'm gonna call. Um, we said they have the same fight value. Uh, I've got a fight value of a four on yes on the um, the black knights have fight value four. I don't know about your dragon. Knight. My dragon knights have fight, fight five. So okay, so yeah, you'll beat the captain on yeah, fight that's, value. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna. But at the beginning of this fight value, I do think that I want to call a heroic. I get one heroic. Uh, one free hero might point well, that I can spend with Helm. Well, uh, yeah, I guess that doesn't override my ability. Go on. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use his heroic strength. Now, let me check in his, uh, ba uh Goth Mog's, ba Goth Mog's Battle Master to make sure it's not a proximity and that. But you're within six inches anyway. I, I couldn't remember if it was six inches or if yeah. it was three inches or, like, what the deal is. I'm going to check just for. For rules. Semantics, clarity. yeah. So. I'm going to, uh, so it is a six inch bubble, yep. and I don't have to roll anything nope, for him. Just, uh, you just, you so, basically get to roll a d3 for your yep. heroic strength buff. So I will add one to mine, you'll add three to yours, which yeah. is totally fair the way the game's gone tonight. Yeah. Um, so Helm Hammerhead, for the all intents and purposes, this turn is going to be strength six, and which is, I mean, it's helpful if I can win that combat. It got to be seven. Yeah, so, which now, totally makes sense with his gimpy arm, now, but you know. I'm going to choose this turn to do once per game. Every orc, friendly orc model within 12 inches of Gothmog, I'm going to declare that the time the orc has come, and I can reroll any failed wound rolls against you. Okay. So. Okay. So, starting over here. I've got uh, one roll guard and one rider, and they're going against that dragon knight or that He's black knight. going to shield. So you win that anyway, so we'll just back away. 
but I probably wouldn't have if I had the shield. That's true, you wouldn't have. So over here, you got the captain against uh, Dragon Knight. <laughs> and I mean, it's just going to continue to roll that way until I die. Um, three strikes in. So yeah, that'll do it too. Uh, he's got one fate. Have I wounded him? I haven't wounded Not him. Not yet, either. and he passes it. Okay, so he's so. good. Um, the good the good news for you is that he doesn't have fate, so in the event that you... If I can ever win yeah. the dice roll, yeah, I mean, that's the good thing. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm really missing Urkin Brand and his red shield. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of the things I really enjoy. That's, I think, the main reason why I don't like to run the Legendary Legions. Well, and this one is cool, but I think it's meant more for, like, the scenarios in the book. Yeah, I think it's yeah. mainly to smash the dumb lendings. But I wanted to tell, I wanted to bring Helm out, you know, and to get him on the table. I wanted to put uh, to test him to drive this Ferrari. Uh, I don't really have any fights that I think I'm going to do well in. I mean, these were the two that I held more hope out for. So um, I guess let's just do this one. One, two, three, four. He wasn't in. That's five. So I got five dice versus the. Uh, and I'm going to have to roll them separate because well, I don't have to. Because all the fight values going together. It's okay. ain't like I'm using the L. So three for the uh, beast and two for the commander. So I do have a six high. But. It doesn't matter. And I've got no might left, so yeah. this is just the way it goes. Sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. So. I'm going to put. How many, how many wounds does Helm have? Three. He's got two left right now. I'm going to put all six of my strikes against him with the beast. Or all three, sorry. Of my strikes against so you him. Three fives. Oops, should have rolled that one. So I got one five. Okay. So I'll spend a point of fate. <laughs> I mean, so hey, I, I called it before the game came out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if you remember, I did say <laughs> that... Um, what am I looking at? Why does that look weird? One second. I did say that he would suffer the new model syndrome... He's only got that one fate. I couldn't do that one anyway, so he's down to one wound. Okay, and then the two from the commander are also going to go into him, and I can reroll these if they fail. So, yeah, he's dead. And that essentially is the game, guys. There's not really any point to continue it on. I've got no, We'll finish the turn out, but at this point, I'm about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm about three models from being broken, and I honestly think that I would genuinely concede the game considering that we, I've got nothing left to hit yeah. hard with. And there's no way for me to, to pull this one around. So let's let's finish this combat right here, and then we can do a post-game wrap-up. Um, two dice against whatever five there, because I'm sure he's got two uh, attacks. Yeah, he's got two, and then the three from those guys, so two, three. Yeah, and I'm just going to continue to roll three high. That's not going to do it tonight. Uh, yeah, but I can, can re-roll those, though. Yeah, so. you can re-roll them. Yeah, yeah there you I'll go. Do it. Yeah. So, like I said, at this point, I mean, I, I'm, I'm one model away from being broken, and I've lost the, the most powerful model I've got. This is not going to do it. I got two dice. God, Mogs. Yeah, that's, that's enough to yeah. do it right there with the fight value. And then I'm just going to roll his. I'll probably, yeah, get a kill. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm essentially one model away from breaking. I've lost my Warhorn. I've lost the only guy that I've got. And, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, like I said... He Helm Hammerhead did zero. He's new model syndrome. He he really didn't do anything. Um. I, yes, I will call the game. I'm going to concede that one on turn seven. There's nothing I can do to, to salvage. I, this. I'm just curious. Roll roll uh for for uh um priority. So I got a three and he got a two. <laughs> so hold on. Then I would have taken him and went like that. Yeah, so you would then, have killed two more guys. On. Yeah, so it would it would have ended on the first right there. Well, it would have broken me at that point because I'm oh, broken it. Because you know, I'm, yeah. I'm calling it now because I've got nothing left to yeah. actually like. The only chance I had was really to take out the great beast, and you didn't manage to. Even and I couldn't even wound it. I could yeah. like literally nothing that I was supposed to hit hard with actually hit hard. However, let's add up the points real quick. So you actually have that quadrant, that quadrant, and that quadrant. Uh, no, because uh, remember, it's within twelve inches of the center doesn't count. So there's your center of the table. Okay. So <laughs> those guys are they're in the no man's mm. land. Those guys aren't. So effectively I've got two quadrants, which is worth two points. You've got in this table edge here. Are they within twelve? Yeah, you've got 
but those guys aren't, so I've, I've definitely got more Yeah, guys you've got this quadrant here, and you've actually got double. So at that point, you you would score more than that on that one. Um, you've gotten the two points for killing my leader, and you've gotten one point. You got two points for me being broken and you not being broken mm. with one more turn. Yeah. So that puts you at four, and then you would have at least six by having twice as many in a quadrant as me. So you would. You're. you're I mean, essentially, one more turn. I lose one more model. The game's broken. You got six points, and I and I've got one, and there's really no coming back from that. Well, I got two. Yeah, that's so. Pretty- yeah, it's and yeah, there's really no salvaging the game at this point. Um, it, it, it you know it it was a good shot. I wanted to give. I've, I've always run Theoden because of his synergistic list, and I think like John nailed it when he said that this is mainly Helm Hammerhand's list is made more for taking on uh, the Dunlendings. And to be fair, this was a 550-point list we kind of threw together real quick. Had I had more captains and more Mike to throw around, it could have been different, but it was what it was. It was fun. It did look impressive when they were coming over in a wave until they... <laughs> just running, whiffed. They just whiffed everything. I don't I don't know. How many did I even kill? Uh, it's, models? It's one of those victories that doesn't even feel good on my part. <laughs> Cause, I mean, like, I, think I, I think I killed two models. Yeah, you killed exactly two yeah. models, and, and I killed. And, and, you know, and typically, and you know what it was? It's, it's the crutch. It was the crutch of um, Ride for Ruin and World's Ending. I'm, I've, you know, as a Rohan player with the basic strength three, you really suffer when you're fighting anything that's other than humans, unless you have the ability to make the charge and get that extra plus one strength on the charge. Well, and that's how it goes too, because I'm. Like I said earlier, I w- I'm used to playing against Rohan, and I'm used to playing against Rohan at full strength at that. Um, and I think this really just came down a lot of it. Well, I, well, the dice decided yeah, a lot Yeah, but you know it. what? That's part of the game. Um, but apart from that, I feel like it just came down to... If, if, if I had been somebody else, you might have gotten a little bit of an upper hand, but I was just ready for anything that you could have thrown at me. And not only was I ready for anything you could have thrown at me, you didn't even have half of what you normally have to throw at me. So, I, I don't know, it just... But it was one of those things where I feel like a combination of the dice rolls and then us just having bashed each other's skulls in, in this game so many times. Yeah, I think um, it, uh, part of the reason why I wanted to use the list was because, as we talked about earlier, I, the crutch... I'm not a meta player. I don't do tournaments. I didn't go to the Nashville thing with John. No offense to the guys in Nashville if you see this. I just I, That's not my scene. Um, I like to, to mix and match and play with all my toys. And um, But I even, even not being a tournament player, I have grown accustomed to the 24 to 27 might list of the Theodans. Of the Theodans Get players. out. Not to mention the fact that, you know, the, all the buffs that he gives, the Rise Riders of Theoden, everybody within 12 inches on the charge gets plus one of the fight value. Uh, Ride for Ruining World's Ending, and everybody within, you know, every Rohan model on the charge gets plus one of their strength. And then I always, if I'm not running the Riders of Theoden, I'm always bringing Urkenbrand and all of his red shields. And that, that Warhorn with the plus two to the Courage, to the army-wide bonus, that's huge. Because that one that I missed there... With Eric and Brand on the table, we don't miss that. You know, we make that charge. And then who knows, maybe that was the guy that caused the wound. I don't know, but it's part of the game. Um, yeah, so. But I I will accept your um, gentlemanly concession. You know, and normally we like to go to MVPs of the game, but guys, this was a total team failure. I've gotten MVPs. <laughs> I know who my MVP was. Well, it was a combination of Fat Boy and... Um, Goth mode. You know, the only thing that was frustrating is, like we said, I, I know how to deal with the Great Beast, and I did everything in my power to deal with it. Yeah, right you, way, you, did it just, it, you did it right, too. Just, just just didn't get the dice rolls, and that's part of it. It just didn't happen. You know, and I, I mean, I hope that all the viewers can see, because, you know, in the gaming community, there's this whole, you know, oh, the typical wargaming general, you know, you make all the right decisions, but your dice fail you. Okay, well, I... You guys saw that. We have film evidence of yes. the dice failing us this time. <laughs> like, I'm, I won, and I'm not even going to pretend like I'm some Napoleon. <laughs> I, I said it earlier, man. It's, it's, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. And today, 
Rohan and Helm Hammerhand because of the new model syndrome was that we were the windshield. That's, or we were the bug, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end it on that note. So uh, this has been John and Mikey yep. and this is TriStar Wargaming. We hope you enjoyed and we'll see you later. Peace.